at 22 feet 11 inches long, roughly 3,700 pounds dry. This six sleeping beauty is an entry level fiberglass RV that you got to check out. As a matter of fact, we are right now. It's the Forest River Salem Platinum FSX 178 BHSKX. Let's go. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the all new Forest River Salem FSX Platinum 178 DBHSKX. A lot of letters, a lot of stuff inside of a RV that doesn't cost a lot, to be honest with you. We're going to start right over here in the campsite. This is a double over double bunk RV that has one slide in it. And I got to tell you, what they did was they took that standard slideless model, added a slide, but gave you a lot more space than you think dual usb charging mushroom lights on both plus you got windows with curtains on both and underneath the bottom bunk you got yourself a little storage compartment slide your fishing rods hunting cases laundry bags whatever right there you know underneath the the uh bunks now we got the teddy bear series bunk mattresses on these roughly three inches thick of good plush comfortable and great for the dogs great for the kids they are double over double so you do get a little bit more space than normal right across from that is the off campsite bathroom with the high-rise plastic bowl with the foot flush we got the corner mounted sink right here the little small basin sink with hot and cold gfci outlet plus a mirrored vanity now i like what they did for 22 they brighten the interiors with this carbon decor so you got the medicine cabinet there with some raised lips the mirror the mushroom light little storage compartment underneath now i am over 200 pounds sadly uh over six feet so let me show you what the size is like inside of this one now i'm not really cramped left or right or up or down on the bowl i got some room to move my legs if you need it but not a lot this right here is where things might get a little cramped. A single surround 30 inch shower with the herringbone pattern that matches the easy to clean upgraded linoleum flooring that we have inside this FSX. Uh, it is platinum. And luckily the vent with the powered fan right here gives me some additional headroom. Plus I got my shower curtain. I got my shower with my spray control, hot and cold. Okay, I'm not too cramped. I thought I was gonna be a little bit more cramped than I was to be honest with you. All right, the carbon decor, you get the light bluish style gray with this kind of matte black features and fixtures on it. I'm a fan of this color scheme because it's light, but it's also dark. It gives you the accents. It won't show stains or wear and tear as easily. So pretty nice. You got the Coleman Mach 13.5 BTU roof mounted AC right here. And we do have it running so you can hear how loud it is. And here, Bobby, I'm actually just going to cut this off. Boom, and there we go. So that's the sound difference between when the AC is on and when it's off. Over here on the campsite, I got my Everchill 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt fridge freezer combo with the controls for the freezer and the touch controls for the fridge. Just remember it is 12 volts. So if you're gonna run off the coach battery, just be mindful of that. Check the battery every now and then, maybe get you those, uh, those 10 amp quick connect solar panels to help charge this thing up. Over here on the kitchen, you got yourself a pressed surface countertop. I like the decor. I like the, the etching in this because it does match the flow of the RV. Plus, you got an undermounted large sink with cutting board covers here, high rise faucet, and a window looking out on the campsite. You got the Greystone two burner cooktop, which does require the match start. Plus, the cover gives you a little extra prep space. Got a drawer down here, full extension on the ball bearing drives. There's your 20,000 BTU furnace. Some more storage underneath. Plus up top here, we got a frosted glass inlay in our pantry cabinet. I like the touch of that. Plus the flush mounted Greystone microwave. Got your suburban controls for your heat right here. Plus dual USB charging. 
and TV backer that could probably hold a 32 inch TV. Just always check, always tell people if you are going to mount one, check with the techs to see exactly how much weight these wall backers can hold. Got your cable satellite. You are pre wired for King Wi Fi extension too. That boosts your 4G, your LTE, and your Wi Fi. Plus, you got your GFCI outlet right there. Now, what they did with this one. They took that slideless bunkhouse Murphy bed model, they added a slide, and I gotta tell you, it really changes the game up a little bit for these lightweight entry level RVs. We got ourselves a U-shaped dinette, could easily sit six people there. You reduce it down, it does turn into a sleeper. You got storage space, space on both sides. The only thing you gotta watch out for is it is raised. The table is raised, so when you come out, the slide height is only five foot eight. So you just gotta watch your noggin when you're coming out of there. Panoramic window with the wood valance, plus you got the pool shade. Right up front, over here nestled in the front cap, is our sofa slash Murphy bed system. Now, this is not the standard jackknife sofa system that you will see in, in a lot of the Murphy beds. This is just a straight up sofa with the detachable pillows. And these are great because you can use them as sleeping pillows because the fabric is that really cool, I don't even know what it's called, it's like hide. No, it's not like hide. But it's not that pleather stuff where you, you lay down on it, you instantly start sweating and you stick to it. This is like nice plush material, just like the rest of the cushions here in the 178 because they're dark, but they have the light accent. And dark shows wear and tear and stains less when it comes to your furniture. When you got your Murphy bed right here, Pull that down, got that high density foam mattress right here, boom. Even got an extra pillow thrown in there. Nah, we did that. Got some storage space up above with the shelf. Storage space on the side with the ward. Dual USB, 110. And my control panel right here with the water pump, the water heater, the lights. Check my fresh, my black, my gray, as well as run out my slide and run out my awning. Sweet little camper, man. Sweet little camper. But we've seen the inside of this beauty. What do you say? We go take a look at the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all-new Forest River FSX Platinum 178 BHSKX. Fiberglass, beautiful. Let's start right up front. You got that seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top. Diamond-plated rock guard sitting on that powder-coated 8-inch shingle-welded frame. Plus, you got the camber construction on this one as well. You got the battery disconnect right there on the frame. Nice little feature. Single 20 pound LP tank. And I tell people, even though this camper is only 22 feet 11 inches, roughly 3,700 pounds dry, get another tank. Get your service folks to give you two 20 pound LP tanks because if you run out of LP, that's not a good thing. Hand crank for the hitch right there. Come around to the campsite. You'll see, oh yeah, we got the quick connect for your 10 amp solar panel uh, if you want to plug that in. It's rated for 20. This is a great little feature, especially since you got that 12 volt fridge in there. You got your, your stabilizer jacks right there. You also have the accessibility on this one. It is a paneled undercarriage where if you need to access like the water tanks or whatever, just get under there. You don't have to take off the whole thing. You can take off a panel at a time. You got the LCI Solera powered 12 volt awning right here with LED light strip. It does have the adjustable pitch on it as well. Nice little feature there. Steel fold-up steps leading into the entry point with the extra large grab handle. Back of the furnace, fresh water connection, back of your hot water heater. Fresh water drain is located down there on the bottom. Plus we got sealed safety windows all the way around this coach. Single axle nitro filled tire there on that steel rim. And even though this is a small little camper, you still get the outside kitchen. Big fan of these suburban griddles too, because gone are those two burner cooktops. It really kind of limited what you can do on the campsite. You know, now we got all this cooking space, plus it opens up breakfast, doing eggs, bacon, pancakes, all right there with a lot of good cook space. Love it. Got your prep space right there. You got the little mini dorm style fridge, the Ever Chill right here. And underneath, if you need it, you got your LP Quick Connect. Rear stabilizer jack, 4x4 sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back. Plus, we got the external shower with hot and cold. Those arch ceilings with the rain nozzles really keeping the weather, the snow, the rain off the top of this thing and off of you and your friends. Backup camera prepped as well. Come around here, you got your cable plug in, your low point drain, plus, you got your 
Yep, your rear stab jack right there and your main terminations, gray tank and black tank. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we got 40, 30, 30 on this one, 40 gallon fresh and dual 30s on the gray and the black. 30 amp connection right there, city water connection right there. Got that Schwintec slide bolted all the way down. Now this is where it's gonna get tricky, Bobby. Watch your step. Come right here to the other side. You got to the other side of your store, actually the side of your storage right there. Good little space though. This is under that Murphy bed system right here. And as you can see, it goes all the way over. It's just, there's no access point on the campsite. And the most important part of any RV is going to be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this one weigh? So for example, this one's roughly 3,700 pounds dry. Gross vehicle weight, you're looking at 4,840. For a camper that's 22 feet, 11 inches long, can sleep six people extremely comfortably. Um, I mean, I gotta tell you, that's, that's lightweight. You're looking at SUVs. I mean, it's, but regardless, you take that information to your specialist at Camping World or Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's where my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where we're going to go camping. Is this the right RV for me? We have that information. We can find the one that's going to fit your lifestyle and your budget. Lightweight, affordable, full of features, plus comfortable. I'll tell you, man, it's a lot of letters to remember. But the Forest River Salem FSX Platinum 178 BHSKX is a good option for you to check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed all these letters on this thing. I'm not going to repeat them. Until next time, come check out an RV, because they're fun.